Hi, welcome to this week's edition and the first week's edition of Moyer TV. Used to call it the weekly workout until I realized I really wasn't showing a workout. So hence the name Moyer TV, welcome. Uh, launching right into the tip today, we're out at a park in beautiful Los Angeles. It's hot, I've been shooting a little bit, that's why I'm sweating. And my tip to you, if you wanna be in great shape, do different things. Today, I'm not in the weight room, I'm not on the treadmill, I'm not going for a run, I'm playing basketball. And Dylan and I are gonna go see right now if I still got it, if I can still shoot this thing like I used to. I doubt it, but let's go see. So I'm here with my friend Dylan, Moyer Method. Gonna do a drill I used to do many times back in high school, college, even the pros. See what I can do, see if I'm still an athlete because when you train to be an athlete, the body will follow. So let's see what I do. I'm gonna shoot 15 threes, running side to side, tiring myself out, seeing if I can mentally stay with it and physically. I haven't shot a ball. I shoot maybe once or twice a year nowadays. So let's see if I still got it. So 10 for 15 on those threes, worked up a sweat. That was a great cardio workout, but um, I'll take 10 for 15. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's go right into the reader question. Hey Steve, what's the deal with sports drinks? I've heard that some people say they're too sugary, and I've also heard you mention that you drink them sometimes after your workout. What's the deal? Sports drinks are very high in sugar, uh, but let me be clear on this. Sugar is not the problem over consumption of sugar is the problem. So when you know how to use sugar, it can be really used to your advantage. And a sports drink, when mixed with a very good organic whey protein, mixed after your workout within half an hour is a great thing to have to promote muscle repair, to promote muscle growth, to, uh, it's a great thing to do. And then about an hour after that, you start eating normal meals. So if you know how to use sugar, it's not your enemy. It's when you don't know how to use it and you just think that all sugar is the enemy and all sugar is bad, that's the problem. Let's talk about nutrition and let's go back to the topic of sugar. All sugar is not the same. I love it when I hear people say, I'm off sugar, and then I see them eating a peach. Well, that peach is all sugar. It's fructose primarily, but it's still sugar. So all sugar is not the same. That's the depth of this tip. Stop talking uh, about sugar as if it's one thing. You have many different sugars. The sugar in a Snickers bar is much different than the sugar in an apple, which is much different than the sugar in milk, lactose. So you have fructose, lactose, sucrose, glucose. These are all different sugars. And when you know how to use them and at the right times, they can be used to your benefit. Educate yourself, stop using the word sugar, uh, all encompassing of all sugars because any carbohydrate has a little bit of sugar in it. Um, sugar is not the enemy. It's the misunderstanding and the overconsumption of sugar that is the enemy. So thanks for tuning in to this first uh, episode of Moyer TV. Really appreciate you showing up. What you can expect in the future is kind of what you saw here, but I'm going to be inviting guests on. I'm going to be giving you nutrition tips. I'm going to be giving you insider tips. I'm going to be giving you workouts. I'm going to, it's all encompassing, but I'm looking forward to having guests talking about fitness, talking about nutrition in a smart, intelligent, easy to understand way, because we all know there's so much information out there. This is going to be my free weekly coaching session to you. So make sure you tune in each week for a lot of valuable insight from someone you can trust me. I'm going to get back to shooting. It's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Take care.